Anu Ketharisan, fertility physician, doctor, mom, and I'm here to educate on fertility. So today we'll be talking about if you're single and if you're wanting to plan for the future in terms of your fertility. So generally speaking, over the last 50 years, women have been delaying the age in which they start to build their families. And this has been due to numerous reasons. For example, not having found the right partner yet, delaying it because of career or educational goals, or um, simply just not being ready to start at that time, but wanting that option later on in the future. I've been there. I know this is a stressful topic. I personally delayed my childbearing to the age of 35 because of educational goals. My husband and I were training in two different places in different parts of the country. And so I understand how stressful this topic can be. But I also see patients that don't understand the impact that age has on fertility. And so sometimes they come too late in their reproductive life and they're left with the options of egg donation or adoption. So I'm here to educate on fertility, to spread as much information as I can on this topic in hopes that it can reach more people and help to decrease the chances of that happening. And so with that, if you're single and wanting tips on how to plan for future fertility, here are some tips that I have. Number one, take control of the information available. Learn what advancing age does to fertility. To learn more about this, you could see a fertility specialist. I have also done a video on this topic. I will link it here and I will link all the videos that I mentioned down below. Number two, you can check your ovarian reserve. Ways to do that are with a blood test called an AMH. This stands for anti-mullering hormone and this can be checked at any point in the cycle. The second test is also another blood test and it's called a cycle day three FSH and estradiol level. And this is cycle day specific and also another blood test. Both of these could be done either with your OBGYN or a fertility specialist. The third test is a ultrasound to check for something called an antral follicle count. This is looking at the follicle number in the ovaries on ultrasound. And this test is best to do with a fertility specialist. So these are the tests for ovarian reserve. For more information on this, I do have a video on this too. I'll link it here. Here, and I'll also link it below. Number three, learn about the different fertility treatment options available so that you can make the right decision for you. So some of these fertility treatment options are number one, egg freezing. So egg freezing, basically it is freezing the eggs to sub-zero temperatures to preserve the reproductive potential. This involves undergoing IVF or in vitro fertilization. For more information on this topic, I will link it here and also down below. If you are single and ready to get pregnant now, then there's the option of using a sperm donor. And the sperm could be used either in IUI or IVF treatment options. For more information on these treatment options, I will link them down below also. The last option is if you are comfortable waiting to later in reproductive life and comfortable with the options available at that time, such as egg donation and adoption, then that's an option too. Number four, after learning about this information, make the decision that is best for you. Unfortunately, fertility lasts for a finite period of time and it's important to prioritize thinking about it. Take control of the information available. Learn as much as you can on the effects of age on fertility and learn about all the treatment options available. After that, every woman's different. Some women may choose to start their families earlier. Some women may choose to freeze eggs or freeze embryos, or some women may not make any changes because they're comfortable with the treatment options available to them later on in life. Every woman's path to building a family is unique. But what I would ultimately urge you to do is learn as much as you can so you can make an informed decision on how you want to plan your future family building and not let the passage of time make that decision for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give the video a like, subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, please leave them for me also down below. Thank you so much again for watching and see you in the next video.